As a matter of fact, a young man out of Detroit, Michigan, has delivered his entire time at Orchard Lake St. Mary's Prep. His name is Ike Irish. On a team that is the number one team in the land, the perfect game national champion high school team that went 44-0 this year, He's surrounded by prospects. Brock Porter's going to be a night one pick. Nolan Schubart is a college commit who's going to be drafted as well. But their heartbeat is Irish. And in late April, I had a chance to go just outside of Detroit and get to know him. It was still cold outside, but my goodness, his bat and his skills, they were hot. You know, I feel like the catching position is a lot like the offensive line position in football. Like You don't want to be noticed. When you do your job right, you know, the pitcher takes the shine. And, you know, in football, when the offensive line does their job right, you know, the quarterback shines. I love, like, the competitiveness about it. I love being able to control the game because, like, all other eight players in the field are looking at you, and you're the only one looking out towards them. already tell that you're a pretty well-read dude. What are you passionate about in the classroom? In the classroom, I'm a big um, history guy. So like, I love everything like about the Civil War. I love the Revolutionary War. So I'm a big like his history guy. Is there a bit of an edge to being a Michigan baseball player? Yeah, I mean, when, when like, I think we can compete with the best. Like we got probably arguably, arguably the number one pitcher in the nation um, on our team. Like we got, countless arms who are who are amazing in Michigan and we got dudes who can who can hit it and dudes who can pick it um, in the field so you know it's it, like being a northern guy like you always hear he's a northern bat he's got to play in the south but I mean I mean we were just as good as those guys down south Gosh, you had three guys in San Diego three right. guys I mean that was great that had to be fun you guys were all there what was that experience like in San Diego you know, it started with going to the airport and seeing those two and just sitting down and being like, hey, like, I know these guys and we're all going to the same thing. Uh, but it was amazing to be able to, like, have two teammates go with you to an All-American game and get the respect that, like, you've earned over time over these past four years, starting in, like, 14U and, you know, just having it all come together as, like, one big final event. When I transferred in, like that's what that's what sold me was the brotherhood, and you know it's it's just as advertised. Like everybody is like so close and so inner, like tight, and you know it's like we're all talented and we all get that. But at the end of the day, we get that you know the relationships we have with each other are bigger than baseball, and that they're bigger than what anybody or what any single thing can do on the field. How much does it mean to you that you've earned the right to be on that list of top 10 catchers in the country, all ages heading into the draft? Yeah, I don't like to like look into that stuff because at the end of the day, like it doesn't matter how good I am in the 22 class, it matters how good I am with five years older than I am and five years younger than I am because those are the guys who I'll be competing against at the next level. So, I mean, being on a list of top 10 is cool and all, but like, I, like it doesn't mean much because there's always going to be somebody better. So it doesn't matter to you at all? Uh, like, I look at it. If I'm on there, cool. If I'm not, whatever. But outside of that, I don't look much into it. Have you had that daydream, and it's all it is is a daydream, or even a real night dream where you get your name called by a major league team? And if so, what does that daydream look like? Yeah, I mean, like I've thought about it ever since I was like, could think. Um, like I've wanted to play in the big leagues for forever. Um, that could be now this year, that could be in, in three years at Auburn too. So, you know, it doesn't really matter to me at what time it happens, but you know, I think about it all the time. Get hearing like Ike Irish like selected would be, would be just awesome. Thank you for your time. Yeah. I appreciate it, my friend.